Hello and welcome to my new video. In my last video, I explained the data imports, which include ways uh, import set components, data import process, policing, data policy. Uh, in this video, I will explain the workflows uh, in which I will demonstrate that uh, uh, what is workflow and workflow lifecycle, components of workflow editor, workflow activities, and workflow scripting. So let's start with what is workflow. Workflow provides a drag and drop interface for automating multi multi step processes across the platform. Each workflow consists of a sequence of activities uh, such as generating records, notifying user of pending approvals or running scripts. Workflow in the service now are typically created using the workflow editor uh, which is a graphical tool that allow user to design workflows by arranging various workflow activities and defining the condition under which they should occur. Service now also contains some baseline workflows. Baseline workflows are uh, you can say that uh, out of the box workflows like for which are used for change and problem. Uh, these all are the out of the box very uh, workflow which are known as baseline workflows. The next is workflow life cycle. A workflow starts when a trigger event occurs. Common triggers include a record being inserted into a specific table or a particular field in a table being set to be specified value. For example, you might create a workflow that runs whenever a user requests approval for an item. They want to order from the catalog. You can also schedule workflows to run periodically or call them from scripts such as business rules. When an activity completes, uh, the workflow uh, transitions to the next activity. An activity might have several different possible transitions to various activities depending on the outcome of the activity. Continuing, uh, continuing the example above, if the user request is approved, an activity might transition to an uh, activity that notifies someone to order an item. If a user request is denied, the activity might transition to uh, notify the user that the request has been denied. The graphical workflow editor represents workflow visually as the uh, type of flowchart. It shows activities as uh, boxes labeled with the information uh, about the activity and transitions from one activity to the next as lines connecting the boxes. At each step in a workflow, an activity is uh, processed and an action defined by activity occurs. At the completion of an action by an activity, the workflow checks the activity's condition. For each matching condition, the workflow follows the transition to the next activity. Uh, when the workflow runs out of activities, the workflow is complete. So this is the life cycle of uh, uh, workflow from start to end. The next is components of workflow editor. So workflow have dif workflow editor have different components like canvas, canvas tab, title bar, palette, and palette tabs. So let's explore these components on the workflow editor by opening my personal developer instance. So we can open the uh, uh, workflow editor by typing the workflow editor in the navigator and under the workflow this is the workflow editor. So let me open an existing workflow. So basically this is workflow editor which has different components like canvas. This part which is uh, showing the flow is known as canvas. Then these, this is the canvas tab which shows different uh, tabs like if I open any other uh, you can say workflow like if I open this workflow then this these two workflows are open in canvas tab and the next is title bar this is the title bar which is under the canvas tab which shows the information uh, about the uh, you can say that uh, uh, workflow name and the state of workflow like it is checked or uh, it is in published state then this area is known as palette uh, which contain different activities and uh, the upper part of palette is uh, 
you can say palette tabs which contain like workflow core packs data these are the palette tabs the next is workflow activities the workflow contain different activities we can explore these activities on the uh, workflow editor like these all are the core activities of uh, workflow editor like approval in approval we have group approval uh, approval user approval action approval coordinator generate manual approval and rollback the next is condition the condition contain if switch wait for condition and wait for event the next is notification the notification contain create event and notification then the next one is on call which contain on call activities then service catalog which contain scriptable order guides then subflows which contain parallel flow launcher then task uh, which contain uh, you can say that catalog task and uh, uh, create task then the next is uh, timer and uh, the next one is utilities in utilities we have different activities like branch join log log message return value run script set value uh, and all these activities are in uh, utilities so we can use these activities according to our requirement uh, like we can use approval activity uh, for uh, some approval purpose and if we have some type of condition then we can use the condition activity so all uh, activities have different purpose and we can utilize these activities according to our requirement then scripting workflow scripting there are several uh, several activities in which we can use uh, scripts uh, like uh, we can use script in approval user and approval group then we can use in if condition then uh, we can use in uh, you can say that uh, wait for condition then if we can use in notification and create event then uh, you can say in utilities we can use in run script so in these activities we can uh, utilize the script uh, if our uh, solution or our requirement are not fulfilling out of the box so we can uh, utilize the uh, script in these activities so this is the uh, uh, workflow which i have created earlier uh, for an catalog item uh, and uh, in this workflow i have automated the process uh, uh, that when a user when a user uh, submits a request then uh, the request uh, first goes to the uh, uh, goes for approval to the manager of uh, that requester who is submitting the request uh, if the approver approve the request then uh, it performs the approved action uh, it shows the approval action that this uh, is uh, this request is approved then it creates the task and uh, if the task is closed then it uh, it setting up the values and ending the workflow in the same way if uh, in the same way if a uh, user submits a request and it is rejected by the manager then uh, it uh, uh, set the approval action rejected and set the values and end the workflows so in this uh, in this way we can automate different processes uh, uh, it, uh, different processes and uh, we don't have to uh, perform the processes again and again so for this purpose we can simply once create a workflow and automate uh, all the activities and uh, all the processes and uh, then our process will be uh, you can say that fully automated so in this way a workflow works so so that's all about the uh, workflow uh, before i uh, wrap up uh, let's quickly review what I have covered in this session. I explored that what is workflow, workflow lifecycle, components of workflow editor, workflow activities and workflow scripting. Uh, that's all for this session uh, and in my upcoming video I will cover the flows. So that's all for now. Thank you.